Okay, so I'm Dr. Rebecca Back, and I'm here today with our patient. And um, Jenna is going to talk to us a little bit about what she wants on her lips. We already decided we're gonna do lip injections. She's had them before. So Jenna, why don't you tell us what you're looking for? Just a little plumper in the lip area, same shape, just to make them a little larger. So that's really a perfect patient because that's normally what we do. It's hard to change the shape of your lips. We usually can just enhance the lips and make them a little bit bigger. Um, and we don't do any kind of crazy duck lips here. Nobody ever looks that way. I'm not really sure what the doctors are doing who are making their patients look like that because our patients don't look that way. Our patients look really natural and the lips just a little bit enhanced, a little bit bigger um, and more plump. And that's what should happen here. Um, the best results are not necessarily today. They're usually a couple of weeks later. We like to see our patients in follow-up, maybe a month later. Um, but we're going to video the injection, and you'll see it hurts a little bit. It's not that bad. She already had numbing cream. We're doing some ice. Uh, we're going to put into her lips and then maybe a little around in the nasal labial folds in the corners of her mouth. So here we go. So put your head back, and I'm just going to clean the area. And we're injecting Juvederm, which is hyaluronic acid, which is a natural substance that occurs naturally in our bodies, and we just inject a little bit into the lips. It has lidocaine in it, so that helps reduce the discomfort, although it, it's not completely pain-free. I mean, it definitely hurts a little bit. There can be a little bit of bleeding. The lips are very vascular. How you doing, Jenna? Good. I always explain to people the biggest risk of doing this is really some redness, swelling, bruising, which can happen. Um, bruising is not usually such a big deal because um, you can wear a little bit of a dark lipstick and a dark lipstick will cover any bruises on the lips. Um, but you can see, can you see this side versus the other side? You can see it already. It's already, you know, the right side is nicely enhanced compared to the left. So let's do the right lower. Um, a, sort of the perfect lip, which of course nobody ever has a perfect lip, but perfect lips are supposed to be, the lower is supposed to be a little bit bigger than the upper. So we like to try to keep that proportion for most patients, a little bit bigger on the lower than the upper. Um, oh, we were talking about risks. So bruising, swelling, redness, um, that can all happen. It's fairly common. It goes away pretty quickly. Um, and what's the worst thing that can happen really is a bump. So the substance, Juvederm is very soft and it's very rare to get a bump, but if we do get a bump, we can massage it away and we can also use an enzyme to dissolve it. So it's reversible. So it really isn't worrisome and it's very rare to me to do that. Okay. So I'm just going to check that was about 0.2 of Juvederm um, and I'm going to go to the other side. So put your head back. I think you can see really nicely the one side versus the other side right now. She might need a little bit more on that lower lip, but let's work here. How are you doing? Good. So we just march along, just get a little bit in. She doesn't need a lot. How are you doing? Good. Is it hurting at all? What would you say on a scale of 1 to 10 if 10 is the worst? 4 5. A 4. Okay. So that's realistic. I mean, it definitely hurts a little bit. She did numb and we did ice her. Um, tearing a little bit. Eyes are tearing, yes. It can definitely make <laughs> your eyes tear. Um, you know, years ago I used to do a lot of nerve blocks for this. I really don't do a lot of nerve blocks anymore because the nerve blocks themselves cause a lot of swelling and bruising. You okay? Mm -hmm. um, but if patients want nerve blocks, we can do them. I just don't find that they're really necessary most of the time. Thank you. Let's do a little on the lower. Oh, this looks really good. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> so, relax. And 
I would definitely call this a no downtime procedure. I mean, if you get a little swollen, first of all, usually it looks pretty good anyway. If you get some bruising, you can certainly um, wear lipstick. Um, and also, if your lips are a little swollen, we can always make up a story that you had an allergic reaction to something. You know, it doesn't necessarily have to be that everybody knows that you had lip fillers if you get a little swollen. So, um, I mean, I think that looks pretty amazing. I mean, it looks so good. I'm going to massage it before we're done to make sure it's nice and smooth. I'm going to do a little bit more on this upper side just to make sure it's really even. So some people have asymmetries of their lips, and I will try to correct it to the best of my ability. It's hard to cor correct it 100%. Smile, relax. Okay, I'm gonna do a little in the corners of the mouth, the nasolabial folds. I'll probably save a smidgen. That's a medical term. <laughs> a little tiny bit in case we need to even something out on the lips. I'll massage it and we'll take a look. So now we're just doing the corners of the mouth, which is always a good idea in most patients just to help support that area. If you don't have lines to prevent them, if you do have lines there to help treat them. Just do a little here. This is the nasolabial fold. Hers are really not bad, but she wanted a little bit there. So we'll just put a little bit in. And again, we're putting in hyaluronic acid. It's a natural substance. It occurs naturally in the body. And um, it helps grow collagen. So that's what's so great about it. You put it in once or twice, and then most patients don't need it as often anymore. I'm going to go back to the other side. So same thing over here. A little bit in the corner. A little bit in the nasolabial fold. She doesn't really have any bad lines there, so for her it's more preventative. And then what I'd like to do is I've saved a little tiny bit. I want to massage and make sure that we're happy with it. Um, and if there's nothing that's uneven anywhere that we need to do anything about, I'll probably take the last bit and put it right in the middle of her lower lip to make it a little more pouty, a little fuller. But let's massage first so we can take a look. So, Jenna, open your mouth for a second. I know. It's okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's okay. Here, just put a little, hold, put, yeah, just hold that for there for a second. Okay, let go. Open your mouth for a sec. So, sometimes this is a little uncomfortable, but... I just want to make sure it goes in and stays really smooth and that there's nothing bumpy. You okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, now what I want you to do is take your tongue and go inside and make sure nothing is bumpy. Do you feel any bumps anywhere? Now everything feels smooth. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now relax, so smile, relax. So looking at her, I think she still needs a little bit more on this left side, and I'm gonna put the rest in the middle of her lower lips. So let me just change my gloves, and we'll just finish off, and she's good. I think those results are pretty incredible. Um, I mean, it looks really nice, really natural, and um, I don't know, I think they're great. Just a little tiny bit more. Smile, relax. Just gonna try to pump up the mid bottom lower, just directly into the body of the lip, hanging in there. Smile, relax. Okay. 
that's it. So I'll massage her one more time, but I think we're good on the video. Um, pretty amazing. Do you want to just show great results? I mean, pretty nice. Um,